Ko Ruapiru Te Maunga, ko Wanganui Te Awa, ko Aotearoa, ko Te Atua Noi o Paparangi Te Iwi, ko Nati Hini Oni Oni Te Hapu, ko Atini Te Marae, ko Ming Tuku Ingoa. Both my mum and my stepmum are artists, so I kind of just watch them do their stuff, and I feel like just watching other people doing it uh, kind of inspires you in a way, or shows you that it's possible. A lot of, I guess my nan, she, her taste is like kind of over the top and like kind of out the gate. And I guess I take inspiration from that. Like I often will have an idea and then convince myself it's really bad. And then ultimately go back to it because it's actually good. So you just need to trust in yourself. And I think like the hardest thing to do is start. You just have to start. Like I think I put off my whole time at uni till my last year to actually begin, because I was too afraid, I think. Um, it is like a really vulnerable thing to make art and share it. I got the opportunity to um, exhibit in a show called Matado at the City Art Gallery. And it was the first time I'd worked like on, with a bigger budget or, you know. Um, so I thought, might as well do something big. So I, and I had made work about cars in the past. So I thought this was my chance to do like a whole car. And I like making sculptures. I like, I think objects is how I see my ideas rather than like pictures or drawings. So a lot of my work is about whatever is going on for me at the time. And a lot of the, a lot of the time I'm making it, I'm not even really conscious of what it's about. Like, it just makes sense at the end, and it's only till like, I'm liberated from the situation that I was born in am I able to fully understand it. I would love to do it full time. Like, if, yep, I feel like I have a lot more ideas, a lot more to share. Keep making is kind of my, my main thing and see where it takes me.